Hi, uh, it's me Bizay. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today, actually, um, I'm thinking to share uh, some of my uh, recipe, the secret recipe. Actually, um, uh, my family uh, believe me that I'm a good chef, or sort of, sort of. Yeah. Uh, what what I'm trying to do is actually lots of my friend when I uh, uh, share my food with my uh, co-workers, my friends, and all, the, especially the English friends. I have a very different technique to cook the uh, cook a chicken or at uh, meat, you know. It's very uh, very different, very rare way. Um, but uh, at this time at home, you can cook by yourself because uh, everybody know. Yeah, we are suffering from uh, you know the deadly virus called Corona. In this situation, uh, most of the people they lock themselves at home in their room um, and nothing to do. So. If you're at home getting boring, um, I want to make some uh, yummy, delicious uh, food stuff, uh, then uh, you can follow my recipe. Uh, actually, this is for my uh, uh, English friend. Uh, I, I, I remember some of the, like a couple of years back when I was at Ovation, lots of my friends was asking me uh, when, uh, when I share my food with them, they said, hi bro. Uh, did you make did you, did you make this yourself or you bought from the shop takeaway? No, no, no it's, it's a home cooked and I made myself and they said, oh, would you mind to give us a recipe of this stuff? Bro, listen to me. It's, it's very simple way. It's cooking. It's not a big thing like and um, one thing that I always do a very uh, healthy cook, healthy cooking and temperate cooking and in my way. I haven't learned this from the other guy, other people. It's I learned myself. It's my I create this. This is myself. It's my invention. So I'm gonna show you how to cook it and what we need to cook the chicken. Um, I got a chicken and I got some spices, some herbs, uh, like some lemons, all uh, you know the homegrown. And then um, mm, yeah, let's see. I will uh, first things I will show you. What we need to do uh, uh, to cook a chicken, and it's chicken. It's it's not a fry. It's not like a, um, what they call a baked or something like that. It's 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 a different way. I I told you it's a different way. I will show you how to do that. And one more thing is like I never I don't like uh, chickens or anything with the skin. So first things what I do, I peel off the skin and show you the rest of the process. Here we go. Come with me. You know these days. It's very hard. What we, what I do is first thing I'll wash my hand, sanitize my hand. These days has been so hard. Every time, like uh, I keep washing my hand like ten or twelve times a day, because I'm got afraid of this bloody coronavirus as well. Yeah. 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 I got the chicken. <coughs> Uh, it's a uh, one and a half kg. I uh, was uh, on sale today, so I got this one. So what I do, I'll uh, skin off, peel the skin off. Yeah. I don't know how you guys uh, peel off the skin, but my way is different. What I do, I just straight away, like this. I never put a glove on to take the skin off because I already wash my hand properly, sanitize it with a detol sanitizer. Hop. My hand is hygienic. Yeah, so I skin off. Yeah, finally I took the skin off already. Peel off all the skins. Now I'll give it a good wash. Okay. I'm gonna cook this uh, chicken on this pan, as you guys can see here. It's a very simple, normal pan, and what I do. I'll put this all the chicken on this pan. Yep, as you can see here, um Chicken is ready to cook now. I was uh, peel all the skin off and then wash it properly. And now I got some here um, garlic, 
onion, um, a lemon, <coughs> and then ginger, and some fresh coriander. Now what I do is, I'll put this all this stuff. Uh, first thing I'll blend it, blend all the onion, ginger, and garlic together, and I'll show the process as well. Here we go. Yeah, like that. <coughs> what I do is that I got a, a small blender mixer here. Um, actually, guys, uh, it's a very healthy cooking uh, process, and then um, it's gonna taste really yum it's 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 a very different technique it's my own way actually so what i do i'll get some piece of ginger first yeah and then a garlic Actually, the nutrition value of the garlic is amazing. It's it's a, it's a super natural uh, super food actually, like a ga uh, garlic, uh, turmeric that we use every day in our cooking. Actually, I don't know about the English people, but we do. So one, two, three cloves of garlic and then I need some more actually because I, I got a one and a half kg of chicken so I need at least like um, six to seven cloves of garlic goes here I think it should be fine now um, now I need an onion so I got a good size of onion here uh, <clears throat> it's a red onion actually uh, uh, yeah, I always use the red onion not the white or yellow one actually uh, it's 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 a w different taste way different than uh, than the yellow one I need only half of this one half of this because it's a big good size I'm using this just to make a, a gravy a little bit thicker so I'm gonna blend this on with those uh, garlic and ginger all goes in my blender it's a very simple way to cook only the thing you have to remember what the what uh, spice and herbs I'm gonna mix with the chicken actually you don't have you don't need the um, the rocket science actually to cook this uh, chicken so what I have got here is um, onion ginger and a garlic now what I do is I'll put some spice on it um, here you go I got some uh, it's a cumin seed uh, here we go cumin seed and uh, coriander seed so this two goes in the in the blender as well all right now just for more flavor what I do now I'll add that later uh, now I need some yogurt hang on a plain yogurt Here we go, a plain yogurt. It will actually help to blend our spice properly as well. I don't have to put the water on it. Here we go. You can see our fat on the top of this yogurt's pot here. Actually, I love this fat. I will try. How is it first? Wow. 
Wow. Now, um, one, two, three tablespoons of yogurt. That's it. So I'm gonna blend this together. Put a little blender. Hope oh, my never won't get annoying because of the sound of it. It makes a sound like. It's a sound pollution, eh? <laughs> now the space is ready. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna add this paste in my chicken pan here. I'll add some uh, of the turmeric powder because uh, this will bring out some good color and it's really good for nowadays you know I've heard like uh, uh, yeah, everybody knows it's a uh, super food and it's it's very good for coronavirus because it will it will uh, boost up the human immunity yeah immunity power actually and uh, yeah, it's sort of, sort of what that call a uh, digestive. I don't know, just hard like that. And I got a uh, one spice powder. It's called a uh, Kitchen King. I'm gonna add a little bit, not too much. Yeah. What is what else I got? Oh, yeah, you know, I think this little bit. Uh, yeah. What is it's uh, it's called a garam masala. Garam masala, the offer. Yeah. yeah, now it's time to add uh, uh, some oil on it. And I got a special oil, it's, uh, it's, it's um, mustard oil actually. Usually, we use um, canola oil, sunflower oil for cooking stuff. But today I'm gonna add this mustard oil because uh, it it's 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 a very good. Then it has it's a very good flavor, a different flavor, a very raw flavor actually. Uh, yeah, it's quite strong. So I'm gonna add a little bit the mustard oil here. Here we go. That's it's it's around like three to four tablespoon of uh, oil. Okay, so oil in it now. The things we can't miss is uh, <clears throat> salt. Salt goes as for taste. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, one tablespoon. It's a small one. It's not a big tablespoon. One, uh, one and a half. Yeah, that will be fine. Okay, uh, lemon. I don't want to see. That's why I'm going to use a uh, This one here, one lime will be fine. Fresh green coriander, I love its flavor, coriander flavor. It's my favorite, one of the favorite. I always use this coriander leaf for cooking purpose. It doesn't matter what I'm cooking, but I always, yeah, use a little bit just for the flavor. 
I like the food very flavorful. Here it is, it goes here. Alright. And however I've got this uh, a cinnamon stick. One cinnamon stick just for flavor. But nothing else. Here it is. Actually it's just uh, optional but I got this here. So it's a sage powder, sage, yeah, a little bit of sage powder. And finally, black pepper. Here we go. Yeah. So guys, so guys, I just uh, put everything what I need to cook my chicken. Uh, the chicken drumstick need a good mix. All the spice and everything should be uh, must be mixed together so make sure you check every single piece of chicken should be coated well with all the spices actually it's not too much like spices hey eh? people say spice spice yeah there's spice but I don't call like ginger garlic or the spice onion they are not a spice they are herbs and that's very uh they are very uh good for health yeah there's a uh, yeah if you check a uh, nutrition value of ginger garlic onion uh, turmeric powder uh, the amazing you guys can check on the google yeah google search now yeah i think i mix everything together properly so it's a one and a half kg of chicken, but three, three, nine, three, two, well, 40 pieces of drumstick. Now, what I do is, the marination is done. I would like to keep this around like 20 minutes to half, uh, half an hour in the fridge. So every, all the spices will coat, you know, properly. And when you eat the chicken, you will get there, all the spice, everything all the way up to the you know the bone meat to bone so what i do i put this in my fridge for half an hour and then i'll it's 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 a uh, very simply very simply and an amazing way of cooking it's a chicken you will get that the flavor a different flavor it's way better than the kfc fried chicken and whatever you eat around the world it's my way to cook so um what i do i'll put this in half an hour 20 minutes to half an hour and i'll show you how, how i'm gonna cook this yeah till then take a break oh yeah it's almost uh 35 minutes now i hope uh my chicken with this spice is coated already well also let's see Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks good. It looks good now. Yeah, it mixed together actually. It looks good. Now it's time to cook it. So it's very simple. Uh, it's very simple. Like you don't have to do nothing. It's already done. So just put the lid on, fire on your gas. Yeah. I got a gas burner. I love it. Gas burner. It brings a good flavor on your cooking. The electric one. I had those. Here we go. We put this on the stove and cover this 
like that and wait for uh, around um, I would say like 15 minutes I'll leave this like that and in a 15 minutes it will be half cooked and then after that I will check it actually this process it's very simple and it won't to take too long it only takes like half an hour to cook and uh, this is for you guys for the English people please try this at home uh, these days says you staying at home inside your room so only the thing you have to get chicken or oh, then other um, spices from the market and experience yourself bro uh, guys sorry you can yeah try this at home and i will i will show you in every like after 15 minutes i will show you how it looks like and after that in every three to five minutes i'll keep stirring it keep stirring it and you can see that and once it done it's cooked i will show you how it gonna looks like till then another break break Bye -bye. Oh, i would like to request you please do support me help me keep watching my videos subscribe like share and comment please as much as you share as much as you watch as much as you subscribe it will help me a lot Yeah, it looks good actually, not bad, but it's not cooked, I uh, have to wait, and yeah, I just stir it out, turn all down now, I'll cover it for another 3 to 5 minutes, and guys, now I can smell a good flavor, good aroma coming out of this, um, uh, the chicken cooking here. Wow, it's good. It's smelling, it's, hey, it smells good. Now let's see. Let's check how it's gonna looks like now. Woohoo! It's very hot. This is my dinner plate actually. Hang on. Hang on. Oh yeah, yeah. Now finally, it looks like a half cooked, guy. Eh? Good. Mmm. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. What I do now is I'll make this together and cook this for like uh, another five minutes. Five more minutes. Okay, I'll give it a cover. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like oh. 50% cooked, eh? Wow, not bad. It looks good. I will throw all the chicken piece. Good. Now I'll cover this again for another three to five minutes oh. it's hot, it's hot. Ooh, see look at this keep watching me keep watching me guys yeah it's finally done now it's finally done. I'll show you. Yeah. Oh, good. I'll turn the heat off now. Cover it for what? Another minute. And uh, yeah, uh, this goes well with the rice, bread, naan, chapati, whatever you want. Uh, beaten rice, uh, rice pops, whatever. Uh, without anything you can just eat this so it's, it's very yum very good so okay guys now you can see 
as I told you, like the chicken. See this chicken drumstick with this um, the thick gravy and the rice and some salads with it. Yeah, and this two more plate. So I will serve this plate for these two girls, for my two little girls. And the main thing is I'm gonna do is um. It looks yummy, delicious, but what I will let these two girls do is to review the food taste. As a, how this food is going to taste like these chickens. Uh, I mean like 1 out of 10. So they are going to rate this. Hey, are you ready? Are you ready? Yep. So these two little girls are going to uh, rate the taste of this uh, food. Come closer, get closer. I think uh, I hope they're gonna like this, but they will let you know. They will let you know the real uh, about the real taste of this food. Okay, so the first on my left, Bagisa, please taste it. Okay, so I am going to first be tasting the rice with the gravy of yeah, meat as well. With the gravy with the meat, not that much gravy because. Only go. I'm gonna go with the gravy first. I'm gonna put some gravy in the rice a little bit, and then I am going Let to yeah. Let's taste this. Mm. I'm only gonna rate at the end though. When when we all go, I'm gonna rate and ho. Three, two, one. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Let's try the salad. Over here with the lettuce and stuff. Okay, let's have some rice with it. A little bit of gravy too. There we go. Yeah. That was good. And here's some chicken. I think I need to use my hands because it's a drumstick and it won't come out. Let's try it. Now I'm going to be eating and I'm going to start with the rice with the chicken and the gravy. Uh, I'll go for the chicken at the end. <laughs> I'm just going to eat this. Now I'm going to do the salad. Good. Let's, let's see how it's gonna taste like okay uh, guys don't mind I always eat with my hands I already properly wash my hand I don't like to use the spoon and the fork or the no no never my hand is a natural light see here so I got here uh, my chicken that I cooked some rice and some uh, mm, Salad, yeah, okay. Try now. Wow, well, this is my first bite. Okay, here, here we go. This is my first bite. Hopefully, gonna taste well.
Wow, that's what color taste, eh? Delicious, yummy. See the chicken? Oh, it's falling up now. My hand. Mm. Wow, I can't believe this. Try another one as well. Mm. Wow, it's me, eh? Mm. Wow, I can't believe this. Check my plate. Check my plate. Chicken, salad, and some sauce. I mean, it's a um, pickle, but yeah, it's it's a sauce. Wow, see. I already finished my drumstick because I was ready to go. I'm not gonna give it. Uh, whatever one out of ten I'm actually gonna give it 11 out of 10 you can go one more past the 10 as well so 11 out of 10 mwah. actually I'm doing 12 out of 10 because it's good and the chicken is my most favorite right now. when she said like 11 out of 10 and once he said 12 out of 10 wow that's kill me up um guys please you try this at home and if you have a kids at home let them to try as well honestly 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 they're gonna love it they're gonna love it and wow it's so yummy so delicious it's i can't explain you in a word please cook it and try it uh, cook it up Eat it, enjoy. Then uh, I will come with my another video with uh, another different um, in this. Till then, goodbye. It's me, Bizay. Love you all. Bye.